autumn is here and I couldn't be happier. I am so excited for cozy season and I am really happy to be wearing a jumper right now. I feel so snuggly and so cozy today. I'm living for it. It's currently Tuesday and yesterday you would have seen a couple of clips. It was so dark and pouring with rain all day. And to be honest, today is no different. And I think the entire week is forecast to be the same as per the country file weather report on Sunday evening. <laughs> but yesterday I had such a productive day on my laptop. I basically ticked off my never ending to-do list of all the boring jobs that I put off consistently. I updated all of my expenses spreadsheet for my taxes, I sorted out some invoice payments, I did loads of scheduling and editing and just all the really boring tasks that I've been needing to do for a while so I'm really pleased with myself. I also baked a banana bread in the morning because my friend Beth came over for a coffee later in the afternoon and I wanted to give her some banana bread so we had a slice of that, we had a lovely catch up whilst it was pouring down outside and it was so nice and then me and Jack just had a really chilled evening we were so tired we actually started watching my mum your dad on ITV and I absolutely love it it made me cry about four times but it's such good TV I really enjoyed watching it so I recommend if you're looking for like a reality show to just watch in the evenings to like switch off um, but as I said, it's Tuesday today. I had a really good day actually. It's 20 to 4 now and I haven't picked up my camera today because I honestly haven't had a chance. Firstly, I've been trying to sort out this vlog for so long. I have a vlog that was meant to go live last night. So for you guys watching this, it would be last week. And for some reason, every time I export it, it just doesn't include the end of the vlog and I can't figure out why so I don't know if it's because of my storage or if something's wrong with one of the clips and honestly it is just driving me up the wall so I've been trying to figure it out for the longest time and I still don't know why so that's annoying but I have also had the BT guy here I've been doing some plans for the dressing room and I've been filming some reels. So if you guys follow me on Instagram and you have been missing my fashion content, which I know quite a few of you have DM'd me and said, when am I gonna be posting again more regularly on Instagram? Honestly, I have just found it so difficult to keep up with my regular posting schedules when my clothes are just chaos. And I know I say it all the time and it's probably a really poor excuse, but I am just one of those people that I have to have all my ducks in a row before I can start doing something. So yeah, it's just made my mind feel a little bit chaotic. But today I got back to it. I filmed lots of outfits for Instagram and I really enjoyed it. And I'm really pleased with the outfits and the video and the background and everything. So yes, make sure you're following me on Instagram if you're not already because I post a lot of bits and bobs on there and daily life and things like that. So, I wanted to chat dressing room plans, which is why I'm currently sat in here. I have been umming and ahhing about this room for a good couple of weeks now, and I just haven't been able to make up my mind on a vibe for this room. I've been really back and forth with either wanting it to feel quite farmhouse and quite kind of vintage living room style, or wanting it to feel really just cream and neutral and simple and quite modern and oh, I've been umming and ahhing, I keep changing my mind and I think I have finally decided on a style, I've done a mood board, I found some paint colours, I've swatched some samples on the wall and the concrete idea is happening and I'm really excited about it. So I thought I would talk you through my mood board, show you the room, talk you through the plans and yeah, basically over the next couple of weeks, we can do this together. I really want this room to be completely finished by October. I have actually set myself a challenge on TikTok, just a personal challenge because 
as I said, I've been out the game with filming my outfits and styling up outfits and I've been wearing the same old thing every week. That painting tracksuit is not fashionable. <laughs> Um, and I really miss styling outfits and autumn is my favourite month so I've challenged myself to film my outfit every single day for October and I'm going to make a real effort to get up, choose an outfit, style it, style some pieces and share them on TikTok. So if you want to see more daily outfits definitely head over and follow me on TikTok because that is where it will all be. However, as I said, I am one of those people that has to have everything perfect before I can start doing something. Um, so I need this dressing room to be done, so this is where I can film everything. So we don't have long. It's currently the 19th of September, and I want to start this on the 1st, which is actually next Sunday. So, oh god, next Sunday. That's quite ambitious. No, no, I think we can do it. We can do it. So. Let me talk you through my plans. I thought I would talk you through the mood board first of all. So here it is, a little look at some inspo pictures and just a kind of general vibe for the room. We are going to be doing some really just classic traditional paneling in this room. They'll be paneling on the wardrobe doors and also on the wall on the other side. And that will all be painted in Far and Ball drop cloth, which is the same color that I painted the dining room shelves in. I then have decided that we are going to have a kind of vanity table similar to this kind of vibe. I'd like to have a, a table with a chair and a mirror on the wall above, potentially some wall sconces either side, um, just to add a little bit more character. And obviously there will be panelling on the back wall, so it will feel quite luxurious, quite styled, and I think it's going to look really gorgeous. This is just a little look at some details. So we've got dark wood walnut hangers. These are going to be from Amazon. And then the interior of the wardrobes are this kind of like light wood colour. Probably definitely not as nice as this because this is, looks very bespoke made. Mine is Ikea. But, you know, similar vibes. And then I've been looking at some styling ideas. So firstly is this bedside table here. I actually found this photo on Pinterest and I did a little bit of digging and realized it's Lydia Millen's bedroom. And this is her bedside tables, which she had custom made and she listed the paint that they'd painted it in. And that is what I was obsessed with, the color. So I found out it's paint and paper bronze. And oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with it. So I think I'm going to paint our dressing table in this colour, just so it really contrasts with the room. Everything's going to be quite feminine, quite light and linen. So I think this is going to be a real show-stopping piece. And then I love this idea with four frames, a lamp, a little bit of foliage or a potted plant in the corner just to kind of like style that up or maybe even on the dressing table so yes just a little overview of how i'm imagining the room coming together and then the room so this is the dressing room as a whole i'm sure you've seen this loads of times already but just to refresh this is the wardrobes these are all going to be panelled even these this is actually another door to go there we need to um, cut it down because we changed the sizing of it but even these sides are going to be panelled and painted everything will be painted exactly the same colour as the walls so it's going to look super seamless Carpenter John is going to come back at some point when he's available and box this in so this will be boxed into the ceiling really nice and fluid and then we will also have another little piece of um, boxing in just to go along here as well just so it looks super seamless and then moving over to this side, so this is the vanity area, this is going to be quite minimal, I kind of wanted this area to be quite flexible so that I can actually move things around if I want to, if I'm filming in here and I want to have this whole wall for filming I can, it's just going to be quite an easy functional room. So this is the vanity in question, I got this from Amazon when we first moved in, purely just so I had some kind of dressing table in the bedroom. I wasn't really intending on keeping it for a long time, I just thought it was a good temporary option. It was £60 from Amazon, but it's actually really good. So the wood isn't okay, I don't love it, but um, it's okay. And it's got two little drawers which are super handy, I keep all of my belts and jewellery, I mean it's a little bit of a mess, but yeah, one is for hair stuff, one is for my belts and my accessories for the moment. 
and then this mirror is an old Facebook marketplace mirror love this I really love the detailing of it the antique brass the really dark wood I just think it's really gorgeous so this is going to go up on the wall above and then we should have a couple of wall sconces either side and obviously the wall will be all detailed with the panelling and this will be painted in the bronze colour from paint and paper which I'm hoping that looks nice. I'm gonna order it and just see how it looks. And then in this corner, so you might remember I had my William Wood mirror in here and it was just way too big. It honestly took up the entire wall and it was such a waste of space. So I have just been testing out where the best place to have a mirror is. And I think this is the best corner because I've got the light from the window. It's gonna be quite a nice background when this is all paneled and boxed in and everything and it's easy to move it around. So my plan is to find a freestanding mirror that hopefully has some kind of stand. So for example, if I wanted to move it in front of the window or in a different room or something, I would have the option to. So yes, this is actually one of the wardrobe doors that I ordered in case I wanted mirrored wardrobes. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be great. I think this is going to be really good, really functional. I actually have a plug down here. So hair styling tools will be really easy to use here. A couple of things I would like to get in here is a little kind of storage stool, um, like a tiny footstool that you can take the lid off so you can use the stool for storage for all my hair things and like random beauty bits that just need to go away. And then I could keep that here as well. So on the hunt for something like that and a mirror. But yes, apart from that, I think I've pretty much planned out this whole room now, which I'm really, really excited about. So you've probably been staring at this that whole time, but this is the second coat. I've just done two coats of drop cloth on the wall just to see what it looks like. And I absolutely love it. I think it is so perfect. I think it's such a nice soft color. It probably does look a little bit dark on camera. Um, Maybe if I bring the lighting up a little bit. It's it's just so beautiful. I think it's going to work really nicely. And I didn't want this room to just be a bland, blank space. My office is going to be quite light, quite white and neutral tones. So I wanted this one to just have a little bit of something else. Right, I'm just about to do some styling in the dining room on my shelving. So I've picked out lots of little bits of decor knickknacks i've got this painting that my granddad painted many years ago of our old fishery and i love it i just think it's so adorable i've got some little books i also have some more books over there um i've got some ivy potted up i've got some of the dried hydrangeas and berries from the garden i've got an autumn candle from byredo another one from diptyque I've got some candlestick holders from Marlo and Marlo and a gorgeous pot from HomeSense. Also got a couple of different lamps dotted about just so I can have a bit of a play around. I've got another one here um, just to see what's going to kind of work. So yeah, let's have a little style up. no it's not the first bath in the house this is probably my third bath in the house but it is my first bath of the autumn season and I'm very excited about it and to be honest the baths that I have had in the house have always been freezing cold because it's, it was when we didn't have any hot water <laughs> so I'm gonna very much enjoy this I've actually poured a glass of Prosecco and I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna do some skincare. I've got some fresh pajamas from the Napco. And I'm really looking forward to it. And this is actually the first time I've stepped foot in this main bathroom since probably about a month because this was just full of clothes and I didn't come in here at all. But I love this bathroom. I think 
when we get this bathroom done properly this is probably going to be my favorite room in the house because the light is incredible and you've got the views over the garden and the fields and the sheep are literally right there and i just love it it's so spacious it's got so much room in here um i cannot wait till next year and we can actually start putting the bathroom plans in motion when some other rooms are finished because I can't wait to get the bathrooms done <laughs> but anyway gonna jump in the bath I pop some bubbles in I've actually used this oil which I'm loving from Beauty Pie Beauty Pie did a collaboration with Katie Phillips a good few months ago now I'm not sure if it's still available but I'll have a look and I'll link it below it comes in a kit I think there's four different oils I have the uplifting one in my shower because that's where I shower in the mornings and then I have the relaxing one in the bath because I pop that in my bath and it smells absolutely incredible and it's so nourishing on your skin I really recommend and then another beauty pie product that I'm loving is the super healthy skin body polish I absolutely love this product and I'm so annoyed with myself because I bought you would have seen in my last vlog I bought a body scrub because I completely forgot that I had this in my beauty box and I was rummaging around in there sorting it out this morning and I found it and I've actually got two tubs one is unopened this one is like half used so I'm over the moon because I think this smells incredible and I'm obsessed with it so I haven't even used the other one yet I'm gonna give it to my mum and keep these because I love this product it's so good it's really good to nourish your skin and just really take all the dead skin off it leaves it so fresh and smooth and it smells so oh so good honestly if you buy one thing from beauty pie just make it the healthy skin the super healthy skin range the body cream and the body scrub together oh my gosh you will smell your skin for 24 hours honestly it lasts so long so anyways time for a bath and then cooking a pasta bake this evening a chili and tomato loads of cheese pasta bake for a cozy evening on the sofa tonight's dinner is tomato and basil pasta with cheese and basil from the garden delicious and we are of course watching the football Millwall versus Newcastle <laughs> fabulous well it started off misty and look at the sunshine now it is a beautiful beautiful day and I'm so happy about it I feel like it's gonna be a really lovely sunny autumnal day and I'm so happy oh I must remember to take those clippings and put them in the compost um oh gorgeous so I need to go and put some trousers on because I'm currently wearing joggers and get myself ready because she should be here any minute this little sheep down here I watch him every single morning and he comes right up to the fence and almost so that his bum is touching the bottom post and he's so near nibbling at the hedgerows and I just find it so funny he's got all of this field it goes all the way around it's absolutely ginormous yet he chooses right here to eat his breakfast lunch and dinner <laughs> it's so funny oh my gosh i've just spotted another little one behind the tree can you see it down there oh they are so hilarious i don't know why they love it down there so much anyways i am all ready now i've done all my hoovering i've just been like a crazy lady running around the house and cleaning everywhere and i just thought i would quickly top up my makeup because i only put a little bit on this morning and i just i felt like i needed a bit more something like a bit more color on my face and i thought i would show you the lip combination that i have been wearing literally every single day for the past few months and i've had quite a few questions on it so I thought I would share it. So I'm always wearing this by Terry lip liner in the shade Dare to Bear number four. Always, always wearing this. If I'm not wearing a gloss um, and you like what's on my lips, it's always this liner. 
And for my gloss today, I rotate two. I either use the Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy Heat. It's super glossy, but what I love about this lip gloss is you don't really need to top it up. It lasts so long and it just, the color really just stays on your lips all day. I love how it looks um, after like an hour. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more mascara on. I think I need to book my next lash lift appointment. So I'm gonna do that in a couple of weeks when I get my nails done. My nails actually have been lasting so well these last couple of months. I think by the time I go to my next appointment, I would have had the this set of Biab on for probably four weeks, which is the longest I've gone with no chipping and quite minor regrowth really. Um, so very pleased about that. I think next time I'm gonna get a French now that my nails have grown up a little bit and they're quite a nice square shape. Thought I would show you my outfit of the day. We are obviously just gonna be chilling at home. Um, when we go for a walk, I will change my trousers, but I am just wearing my Novo cashmere body in the camel shade. And then I've got my And Other Stories trousers on. These are all the pieces that I showed you in my capsule wardrobe video. And I am just in love with these pieces. I wear them so much. Also, I'm in the dressing room, and how amazing is this background going to be when we've got everything panelled, the door handles are on, the walls are painted. Oh, it's going to look amazing. I'm so excited. And how great is it going to be when I can show you new in pieces, and I can open my wardrobe, and I can get bits out. Oh, I'm so excited. I literally cannot tell you how excited I am. Anyway, I have a couple of bits downstairs I want to show you before Nadia gets here. She probably will be here in the next half an hour, so I'm going to quickly show you before she arrives. So I have a couple of deliveries that have just arrived that... I've unboxed and I really want to show you. First of all, I have a paint sample from the Paint and Paper Library and I'm very excited. I think I mentioned this already, but I'm going to be upcycling the vanity table in the dressing room and this is the colour that I think I'm going to do. So it's number 283 Bronze from the Paint and Paper Library. So I ordered a little sample just to test and see what I think and then... If I love it, I'll get the proper paint. Um, also, they sent a little paintbrush, which is so handy. I think this came in such a lovely box. How nice is that to receive a sample of paint? That's so lovely. So yeah, really excited to use that. Just to disclaim, this is a PR gift, but you will have seen in my autumn wish list, I mentioned about the Anna Suede chocolate brown ballet pumps and they actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to receive anything for autumn winter from their lookbook and the Anna Suede ballet pumps were on there and I just <gasps> I nearly died honestly these are so beautiful I cannot believe they are the softest suede the inside is kind of like a sheepskin fur it's so soft they are just stunning. So I really hope these are gonna fit me. I have got socks on, but, oh yeah. Oh yeah, once I take the socks off. Oh, I just love them. Like with this outfit, obviously without the socks on, but oh, I love them. They are so nice. So these are going to be my flats for best. I'm not gonna wear these when it's raining, when I'm running around London. These are the shoes that I'm gonna wear when we're going out for dinner and I don't really want to wear heels, but I want to wear a nice flat or lunch or a meeting or something. <gasps> oh, I love them so much. Thank you so much to the Flattered team. I am so excited about these. Okay, and the next thing I want to show you before Nadia gets here, it was her birthday at the end of July. Fun fact, she actually has the same birthday as my brother and obviously her twin. And Johnny's birthday is two days after my mum's birthday, all in July, all in a row. So everyone close to me's birthdays are like a few days apart, which is crazy. So everyone is a Leo, but it was her birthday. She's moved house. A lot has been going on and I haven't seen her. So I haven't given her her birthday present or a housewarming gift. Usually we just get each other something really tiny. 
um nothing elaborate it's just like a nice we see something that we're gonna like and we just send it to each other um but i saw something a good few weeks ago at the garden center and i knew it would be the perfect housewarming present so when i knew she was coming to stay i ran to the garden center and picked it up so i'm going to show you it's outside and for her birthday i just didn't know what to get her i feel like we're exactly the same and if we want something we'll have already bought it so i thought i would get her something that we could actually do together and for christmas she bought me a gift voucher to Bamford Spa for a massage, which I'm so excited to use. I still haven't. And we said to each other, let's go to the Cotswolds. We love going to the Cotswolds. Um, we went together last year and we had the best time. Although I did actually get really sick towards the end. So that was terrible. <laughs> but we had the best time. And it's just our favorite thing to do. Local pubs, restaurants, cozy nights, we just love it. So I thought this year I would book for us to go and stay in the place that we stayed last year, a really nice Airbnb, um, as, her, as my present to her. And we could just go there for a couple of nights, one weekend, and I could get my massage. And she said, when you get yours, I will book one as well and we can go to the spa together. I've never been, so I'm really excited about that. But I just thought it'd be so lovely rather than us just booking a trip and going. I thought that would be a really nice actual birthday present. So that is what I'm giving her today. It's in her card. I just wrote it in. I said, let me know the date and I'll book it. And yeah, going to be so lovely. I'm really excited and I'm so glad the sun's come out. So let's go outside and I will show you what I got her. It's only tiny, but I just love it. So this is the little guy that I picked up for Nadia and Johnny's new house. I mean, doesn't it just look like Yodi, their new puppy? Oh, adorable. So I thought he could live outside their front door. And I have actually seen another one, which is much bigger, like really big um and it looks like biggie so i think for christmas i'm gonna get them the bigger one and then they can have two how adorable oh my god i hope she likes it i feel like nadia will love it and johnny will hate it and not want it out <laughs> also all of my plants have died really unhappy about this i don't know what i've done wrong i definitely have been watering them um but yeah i think these need replacing that was perfect timing because she has literally just pulled on the drive. I can't believe that. Timed that to perfection. Let's go find her. <laughs> I didn't know what your eyes looked like on the other side. I was like looking out for you. The screen on my camera, the screws come loose. I need to, it's, so it's upside down. I like those trousers a lot. The thing under the stories. This is so nice. They're a nice colour. Yeah. Okay, Nadia's here. Why can't I do on camera? <laughs> Why is your thing upside down? Because my um the screws come loose, I need to tighten. Oh, them. that's what you just said. Yeah. I was listening. <laughs> it's so weird, isn't it? Seeing it upside down. I know. I um I hate opening everything I know. in front of people. <laughs> I know. That's why I was like, I'm going to do it on camera. I think that's so good. <laughs> Wait, that way. Oh my god, that's funny. That is so cute. Are you always right, we little... I know. <laughs> it's because your present is in the card, that's why. Jack lol. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Oh, that's you welcome. Let's do it before Christmas. Yeah, that's or what I even thought. like a January. Yeah, we I do like we November, could do like December, a, Jan. Mm -hmm. a wintry. That's what I thought. Because last time we did summer, so I thought we could do like a cozy. She got me a trip to the Cotswolds. I told her. Oh, told you did. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, that would be nice. We can do like a proper. Yeah, that's what I thought. And I was like, oh, I don't know what to get you. No, and I thought was... like that would be a nice. Oh, like we can actually have to do, do something. That. Oh, yeah, yeah, so Let's do that. Oh, thank you. Welcome. That was so exciting. Okay, right. Okay. Walk? Yes. We're going to go for a walk. Is it going to be muddy or is it going to be... Probably, yeah. Oh. Well, I walked through that route yesterday and it was quite muddy. I don't know which jacket to take. Maybe bring like I've layers. i got like a long woolen jacket. What you were wearing just now? Yeah, but I'm going to get cold. I've got... Why don't you wear like a shuffle underneath? I've got one. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, we are heading out for a walk to the pub. So I thought I'd show you my outfit. I also love Nadia's cape, so I'm gonna show you that in a sec. Your cape. My cape. Cape. Okay, so I've got Novo Cashmere Body Shuffle. This one's actually Jack's, so I've tucked it up. Nadia's got my one on. Then this waterproof coat is from Jules, but I got this on Amazon. I'm going to link this below because it's probably the best purchase I've made. Last year I wore it so much. It's just so good to chuck over everything. It is really sunny, but I kind of want to be prepared for all weathers. Azanoda leggings, my massive socks, ready to put my boots on. And I've also dug out these old sunglasses that I haven't worn for ages. These are my little Celine Triumph ones that I, yeah, just haven't worn for so long. I love these in autumn because they're quite big and I like the tortoise shell, look, thick arms. I think it looks really nice. Um, and then I'm just gonna take this little bag. I could actually really do with getting maybe like a brown crossbody bag that's quite small, just for like every day, like little bits and bobs. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you Nadia's outfit and then we will head out on a walk. Is it? Hey, happy house, mommy. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Is that actually for me? Yeah. Why am I holding it like it's a real talkie? Oh my god! Isn't it so cute? Where did you find it? There's one. Oh. So okay, we have arrived at the pub. The walk was a little bit shorter. We actually didn't walk through the woods. We walked straight to the pub. We still walked though. We still walked, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've arrived at the pub. I love like taking you I mean when I moved into the flat and I took you to like mm -hmm. the new place like the new pub and now it's like the next I take new my local pubs now. I know oh yeah to bloody King Road. oh exciting <laughs> yeah bluebird <laughs> <laughs> um but we've got our standard combination of Rosie and a Diet Coke and I also I haven't shown your cape yet Ah, oh, so come I am actually obsessed with this Holland and Cooper right I think it looks nicer in person than on camera though but it's cute. so nice. It is cute, isn't it? Show you the back. I really like the. Oh, yeah, that is just so lovely. I thought you'd like it. I, yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> we have been cutting all of the wood for the panelling. We've literally cut so many pieces, but it's taken a lot longer than we thought. And we've only managed to do two boxes on the doors, as you can see behind me. Um, I had to have a break because Jack is watching the football. And I've also just prepped our roast dinner. First roast dinner of the autumn season. And I think it's only our second roast dinner in the house. So that is very exciting. Um, we've got roast lamb this evening. We've basically cut all of the wood mouldings for the wardrobe doors. 
we haven't even started on the wall behind you right now um so i think this is going to take a little bit longer than i thought um so uh, yeah i might not be painting this week we might not be doing the dressing room for another couple of weeks which is a real shame but we shall see um so i thought i would do my little tester of the paint and paper library paint for the vanity table because that is something i can be getting on with if i'm not going to start painting yet um ideally i would love it if we could finish these doors today and then at least i could paint these tomorrow and during the week um and then i could do maybe the walls that we're not paneling and then i'll leave one of the walls but it sounds silly but i'm just i want to get going on it so i need something to open this pot with oh not that this is the sample color that i'm gonna paint the vanity table in um i just thought i'd do a tester of it <gasps> oh wow that's gorgeous um and just see how it's looking so that tomorrow i can see if i love it if i want to go ahead and then i can place the order for the bigger pot and then i can start on it whenever i'm doing a tester i always like to do it in multiple areas so i'm going to do a little bit on the top and then oh my gosh that is just amazing <gasps> can you just see how thick that paint is wow i am absolutely in love with that i always feel like when i do a test i always just go way too over the top but let's just paint this little bit so we can see it <gasps> that is just incredible that is exactly the color that i imagined for this room and i actually think the handles that it comes with are going to match really really nicely with that so i am over the moon this is the color that we're going to be painting this for sure i think it looks amazing especially this is going to be on the wall but the mirror as well all the detailing is just going to look stunning especially against um fire and ball drop cloth which all the walls are going to be in so very very happy about that Okay, panelling is pretty much finished for the day. We have managed to get um, most of the wardrobe doors done, but we still need to tweak a couple of things. So we're leaving it for today. It's 20 to six, I need to make the roast. So we're gonna come back to it next weekend. There's just never enough time in the weekends, honestly. I wish we had an extra day sometimes, but really pleased with the progress so far we managed to do pretty much all of the doors apart from the corner so i can actually start painting that which is good and then next weekend we can do the corner of the wardrobes and also that main wall so it's not going to be finished this week i think that was a little bit ambitious <laughs> um, but hopefully in the next two weeks it should be done um so yes very pleased but i've just put the lamb and the roast potatoes in the oven so that is cooking it smells amazing garlic rosemary thyme from the garden delicious so yeah just gonna have a quick freshen up get changed because i've been wearing these clothes all day put something a bit comfier on and we can have a lovely roast dinner which i'm so looking forward to i also keep looking out there because i'm watching a bunny eating the grass <laughs> Also, winter season, cold season is definitely time to hydrate your lips. And this Lano Lips I picked up today in Waitrose. I love Lano Lips. I've gone through hundreds of these and they're actually really good for so many things. So I was just putting it on my lips, but also I get quite dry skin around my eyes and this works wonders. So yeah, I just picked it up from Waitrose, but I'm pretty sure they sell it on Amazon as well. So I will link it below.